is Kate. Welcome to Go Printer Analysis 101. Thank you for joining me. Haven't subscribed? Please do. Uh, today we're going to talk about money and uh, co parenting or trying to co parent with the covert narcissist. Money and trying to co parent with the covert narcissist. You all obviously will understand, even from the relationship, that financial abuse is number one thing for the covert narcissist, whether they are making the money or you are making most of it. It doesn't matter. They will find a way to financially abuse you and this is of course gearing towards them when they leave that you will be on the floor have nothing credit is shot like they want to mess you up that you will not have the ability to get up again or so they think you know so money is a way for the covert narcissist to not only try to undermine you destroy you or cripple you in any way they can because I mean they already know because if you don't have the money chances are yeah they might be able to flip flop back in your life chances are they might be able to uh for you not to uh move and you know heal progress and do things you know get, get back to your normal self because they already know who you were when they met you okay even though they spent years and um, will have along there with you trying to get this new version of you that they're comfortable with so when you're not trying to cooperate with these people, this is another way for them to try to control you, of, of course, which is they might not want to pay child support uh, they, or they pay it, you know, few and far between. That doesn't even make any sense, you know, but this is a way money definitely is a way for them to try to control you. This is why it's important that we, before you exit the relationship or going towards leaving, if that is possible to get things in order, because uh, I, I bet you that the whole time you were there, they already messing up with your credit. They already had, they already have things stashed away. They have assets stashed away. This is what they do. Because like I said, they already know the blueprint of how they're going to come in and exit. So they're already preparing to leave. So before you exit to, you know, look through things and make sure where your credit, credit is, where the expenses are, what it's going to look like when you leave. All those things, you know, if that is possible to have all those done before you exit, you know, it would be really helpful. Most definitely, you know, if you have some sort of an uh, in power, you need that uh, because, like I said, they will they're probably not want to pay child support or they pay it few and far between. It will not make any sense to you. So money is really important when trying to co-parent with the person that is busy trying to counter-parent with you because they will use that for to the advantage and i give you an example of this is now that i'm trying to you know co-parent with this person in the divorce decree there are certain things uh, i'm sure maybe like you, know, you guys if you you know you have a, a court order where there are certain expenses that are supposed to be split between the parents regardless of the child support being paid and you know all this extra stuff that comes in you know the braces or the brace or, or surgery or something that definitely was going to co cost you know quite a bit of money outside of the insurance or whatever covering it uh, i can tell you so far uh that my kids have had some something major done that this man absolutely refused to play pay he absolutely refused to do anything to contribute why because you know they're hoping that you know you uh, you know you lose all this money you don't have enough money and they want to see you in that position that they really planned in their head that that's exactly where you're going to be so he refused <laughs> to contribute to anything and I, I i said it's one of my videos like when i realized what i was dealing with because you know these people when you you know you're divorcing them you know in my case especially if you're leaving that you're the public enemy number one is when you decide to divorce them is that during the mediation and it's going back and forth now i understand and of course i've been watching videos and all that stuff like okay this is what i'm gonna do this is crazy it's gonna get really crazy from this point moving forward and i was thinking if i had a way you know and if it was possible the option was there and i have the resources to pay the covert narcissist to just leave me alone just here take take all this money just go uh don't contact me don't talk to the kids don't talk to me just go <laughs> you know if that was an option i would gladly have taken that you know if that was an option just go and i know you maybe you say oh but the kids want other parents but you realize as you cooperate with these people that they bring nothing to the children besides chaos you know, if it's a different thing, if they have issue with you and somehow they are just magical parents that they're really genuine parents. But of course, that's not how things work because you can't be just a horrible person to the people that are so important to the you know, kids that you say you love. You know, so that's not going to work out. So but if like somehow, you know, some way they are these fantastic parents and somehow they're just horrible, horrible uh, partner to you. 
then that's different. You know, you want them, you want the kids to have access to them and they have access to the kids and, you know, great. But that is not with, with a covert narcissist. They contribute nothing. They bring nothing to us, to the children. Because of your, they, most of them, they don't love the kids. That's for sure. So whatever, anything they're doing, just like with you, uh, the kids are tools. There's always an agenda. So there isn't really anything the kids would miss if the covert narcissist is not around them, you know. But unfortunately, that wasn't an option to pay off the covert narcissist to leave and not disturb. But money is a way for them not only to make sure that you don't have enough afterwards as you're trying to. They want you to be struggling with the children on your own, however it is it turned out. They want you to be struggling. So look, make sure you have to understand that they are not going to willingly <laughs> participate in doing anything for their children that involves money. Because they, uh, as always, the target is you. And uh, they don't really care about the kids anyway. So the target is always you. They want to make sure you have as little as possible. Since you're not in a relationship with them anymore, they can control the finances or your money. Now, the only way they do that is through the children. And that's it. If your ch ch child needs a brace, uh, need brace or braces like my kids did, or some of that surgery, not, they're not contributing to that. And of course, in my situation, if there's a way for me to, you know, if for you to as well, if there's a way for you to go around this, and that would mean you taking this burden on yourself, which I ended up doing for these things I mentioned, because I understand that they, these people, this, their intention is to get your attention focused on them. So they find a way to do that. So if I don't have to interact with you and I find a way to get this thing done, that's the route I'm going. And in this situation, that's what I did. I ended up making installment uh, payments because obviously I don't have the money to do all that. But that, that uh, for my peace of mind, that actually was okay for me to do. Yeah, in you know, extra payment, extra bill per month. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, but not to deal with this person back and forth, you know, probably potentially delaying whatever it is the child needs because that's what happened. Because at the end of the day, you are the only one that cares. They don't give a damn, you know. So... I just go around that if I can, you know, but just wanted to let you know money, however it is, you make sure that you have a way to get it or just some way for you to be financially stable or have the earning power that you need because the covert narcissist is absolutely going to work with you when it comes to doing anything for the children, because this is another way for them to make sure to see if they can continue the damage they were doing in a relationship, continue crippling you the way they were doing a relationship, continue abusing you the way they were doing a relationship. Don't let them. All right, guys, get a hold of your mind and if things are falling into place, please like and share. Take care.